Working in the IT field, I get a lot of questions about how to use your Mac. People are constantly asking me how to do things that will make their workflow faster. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Hey, what is up guys? My name is Luke and welcome back to another episode of Techno Minute. In today's episode, I'll be showing you five basic Mac hacks to make your workflow faster on your computer. All right, so the first hack we are going to talk about is Spotlight Search. Have you ever been in this situation? You are trying to find something or open an application, so you go to Finder and search, but to no avail. Well, there is a far easier way to find things in macOS. The magnifier in the top right corner is the Spotlight Search. However, what many people don't know is that you can trigger this just by using the keyboard shortcut Command plus Space. This will quickly launch the Spotlight Search, allowing you to search for files and applications faster. Additionally, if you want to take this a step further, you can download the app Alfred, which I've talked about in the past in my top five Mac apps video. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out in the card above. But essentially, Alfred will supercharge your spotlight search and you can even map it so it uses the same shortcut. At number two, we have split screen. Now, Windows has had this feature built right into the OS for years. But what a lot of people don't know is that it is also in Mac OS. Now to activate it, all you have to do is open two applications in full screen mode, and this is done by hitting the top green expand button at the top left corner. Once this is done, open up Mission Control by swiping up with three fingers on the trackpad, and just drag each application on top of each other. As you can see, this will place them in split screen, and you can also drag the slider back and forth to change how much room each application takes up. Moving on, number three is quick shortcuts. So in macOS, you can open things pretty quickly. However, if you're like me and you don't like using the mouse more than you need to, this is where keyboard shortcuts come in. The first shortcut is Command plus T. This will create a new tab in either Chrome or Finder or any other program that uses tabs. The second is Command plus N. This will create a new window in most applications, and this is particularly helpful when you are copying multiple files and want to quickly open your destination folder. The third command is Command plus W. This will close any tab in either Chrome or Finder or any other program that utilizes tabs. However, this command not only closes tabs, but also closes open windows in Mac OS. And this is one of the ones that I use on a daily basis because of its multiple functionalities. Now the last shortcut is simple. Command plus Q will let you quickly quit any application open in Mac. However, in Chrome, you will have to hold Q in order to close, but in every other application, it's just a quick key press. Sitting at hack number four, we have screenshot shortcuts. So yes, some of you already know how to do this, but for those who don't, in order to quickly screenshot, all you have to do is press shift command four. This will give you a selection tool to quickly select your area of interest. However, if you just want to clip the window that you're in, do the same command, then just hit the space bar. Lastly, if you press shift plus command plus three, this will give you a clip of your entire desktop. In the number five spot sits the incremental shortcut. For those of you who don't have the touch bar and would like to increase your audio or brightness in smaller increments, if you press Option plus Shift while raising or lowering your brightness, you get a much finer control over your audio and visual. Now, this is particularly useful if you want to listen to something out loud or watch something without disturbing those around you. This gives you much, much finer control of your brightness and your audio. Now, I've mentioned this before, but if you enjoy the music in these videos and want to use it in some of your own content, check out Musicbed. I've been using them for all of my videos lately and the music there is just killer. They have real music from real artists that you can use in your own projects. Right now they have a 30 day free trial, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. All right, well that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that like button and consider supporting the channel by hitting subscribe. Anything else you'd like me to know, leave it in the comments below. And until next time, peace.